Risk identification is quite a challenging step in the process. What sort of tips um, can you provide us that would assist in doing that risk identification stage? You need all your stakeholders involved. Right. You need all that expertise, that wide range, the different views. You need, you know, obviously if you're working on a technical project, you need the technical experts that understand the technical risks. You might need the finance people and you know stakeholders involved to look at the financial risks of, of the investments and and. Uh, and logistics and that sort of thing, but logistics experts to look at how you're going to move everything around for your for your project. Yeah, um, obviously your key stakeholders, you know, uh, for quality, service quality issues. You know, what are the risks on the time, and you know, what are their objectives with your service quality? So you need that that broad range. You can't sit down as as a project manager by yourself and figure out no. all the risks. Right, the, the the settings that we work in these days are so complex with so many systems of systems interlocking and interacting, you have to have stakeholders from all those different systems to try and help identify as many risks as possible. Some of them may not impact your project at all in the end, I mean that's part of your classification which I'm sure you'll talk about later on, and uh, assessment, but yeah, you need to at least I'd try and identify as, as much as possible to start with. Okay, so thanks very much Lachlan, some very good uh, thoughts and some tips there and for, for coming along and sharing your experiences. Thanks very much, enjoyed the time.